Welcome back to an academy. This is Deepak Krishna VM, MA Structural Engineering, AMI, a verified educator. So previously we have seen some of the most important characteristics, some of the most important points that should be considered in the high strength concrete. So today we will see some of the most advantages and the applications of high strength concrete. All right. So before that, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of the academy and also follow us through the other platforms like Facebook app and the website. So let's begin. Hello everyone, good to see you, hope you're having a good day. So in previously in two lessons we have seen some of the most important points about the high strength concrete. All right. So in the first lesson we have seen what are the characteristics of high strength concrete and what are the basic uh, introductory part of the high strength concrete. In the second lesson we have seen or uh, just the lesson just before this lesson we have seen what are some of the most important considerations that one must keep in mind while working with the high strength concrete. All right see some of the most advantages and applications in today's lesson okay but before that let's have a quick recap of what you have learned in the previous lesson so that you'll be uh, we have a small base about what we are going to learn okay so first and foremost what is the definition there is no universal definition for the high strength concrete okay so which means that the high strength concrete is uh, basically defined based on the its ultimate strength its ultimate compressive strength okay so in the 70s it was 40 megapascal as the time uh, for as the time flows uh, it became 50 and now it's a 60 to 80 okay so after that any mix after 80 megapascal is considered as the ultra high strength concrete all right and also the this uh, limit strength okay or this limit changes from region to region caudal provisions to caudal provisions okay so which means that each caudal provision is for that particular region only so the ultimate compressive strength limit for the limit or the range for indian standards is not as in the japanese standards it's quite different from the euro code so all these things are different so all these codes so all these codes will give us important knock i mean important points so we can g uh, get a small idea about what the high strength concrete is all about okay so now let's move on to the some of the important characteristics that we have seen previously in the high strength concrete uh, lessons okay so, so the first and foremost is the low water cement ratio it will be almost less than 0 0.35 because we need more cement content for more cement content and also less water to have more gel in it so that the reaction will be faster and strength will be more okay more bonding capacity also will takes place okay so to re reduce the water cement ratio the method they almost uh, opt will be the introduction of large usage of cement and other powdered material so that the gel formed will be more okay some of the powder materials are mineral mixtures and some of the materials may be not not cementitious just to improve the volume like the sand dust okay so again there is a low water cement ratio large amount of cement large amount of paste definitely there will be a uh, toll on the workability okay so to maintain that water cement ratio and to get enough workability for us or the adequate workability the high dose uh, dosage of plasticizers use usage of high dosage of plasticizers is also cut is also we can see as a character for this kind of concrete all right and the uh, next one is a low maximum size of the aggregate so aggregate size will be less so that there will be more bonding capacity there will be more less uh, there will be more surface area there will be more dimensional stability and the and the mix will be homogeneous okay and the next point is the low air content which means that the air present the air content present inside should be in a very very checked minimum amount otherwise it will contribute to the pores so the pore if there is more number of pores the porosity increases and the porosity increases the strength of the concrete decreases so these are some of the characters of the high strength concrete now let's move on to the applications and advantages okay so what i've done is they have that i'll include both in uh, simultaneously that means that i will i'll see the application and let's see why the why the this concrete is used there okay so that it'll be easier for you to uh, understand okay the ap application as well as the main advantage why it is used there okay so let's f move on and let's start with the first point so first point is early opening of traffic payments okay which means that uh, in some traffic conditions okay we need to open up the traffic really fast for example in some almost in in, some, in most of the express highways the concrete is used or, or more more every uh, express highways the concrete is used as the payment okay uh, as the material for payment because it has more durability and also it's easy to you know to repair okay so because of that uh, and also being a very uh, 
what can we say a very high uh, very high population of traffic in such conditions one need to open up the traffic in a very fast pace okay so when the concreting is done with high strength concrete the reaction is very fast which means that it attain the strength in a very it which means that uh, we can open up the traffic in a, a very a very fast pace okay maybe in 3 4 days it can be done in a very fast it can be done okay so we can uh, there is also usage of other admixtures so that uh, the, the process will be accelerated fast all right the next one is it is used in dams high rise structures retaining walls express highways as i said before bridges and marine structures okay so these are some of the very much uh, complex and very high rise structures and also here the mass concrete is is required so in the cases of mass concreting the high strength concrete plays a vital role in because in today's almost all the cases in mass concrete in session the high strength concrete is preferred okay so these are the places where it is used again and um, so why it is used okay so why it is used in such a mass construction so let's see another advantages of it advantage of that is that it makes the elements in uniform dimension okay which means that uh, if you are look for if you look uh, take consider a high rise building okay take this for a four or five floors building okay so in that uh, the if you look the column okay so we can make the column from top to bottom in the same dimension so it makes the column look in the same similar manner from top to bottom which means that it will be aesthetically pleasing too as well as it can be easily designed the faster designing faster execution and also we need only a particular set of formwork for that we no need of extra amount of formworks all right for constructing in such case scenarios so which makes the construction more easy which makes that uh, it makes easier constructability okay so that makes the elements in uniform dimension and also it can also reduce the dimension of elements in structures that means that for some uh, particular load we need this much amount of concrete or this much amount of element size is required if you're using a normal concrete but in the case of a uh, high strength concrete its uh, capacity is more which means that we are in the small elemental size it's a small size element itself uh, it can bear that amount of load which means that we can reduce the elemental size so which one of the most biggest advantage is that first of all uniformity second one aesthetically pleasing third one is that we'll get more room in the cabins okay that means in the floors we will get that uh, there won't be more, much projections from the columns and other elemental structures so that the more floor area will get and also more room inside the uh, floors okay so that's another very good advantage advantage of using the high strength concrete all right now next point is that uh it is not only used in ordinary construction the pre-stress the pre-stress industry is also heavily depending upon the high strength concrete in today's world okay so how it is done so what's the difference first and foremost pre-stressing requires a lot of uh, what can we say um, uh, force okay into it also a lot of bending moment has to be induced into it so for that the concrete used should have a really good capacity so in such scenarios high strength concrete can be used okay so if we, uh, in the pre stretching in the pre stressing case the tendons are stretched if we pour the concrete and the tendons are released the we apply a force inwardly okay so that force will adjust the bending moment inside and also the uh, what can we say the central axis will come down from the central position okay the central axis will come down from the central position which means that the capacity of the element will be more and also since the elemental capacity itself is increased uh i mean the load bearing capacity itself is increased the number of tendons can be reduced okay so number of tendons can be reduced and also structures can be designed for larger spans without any interruptions okay which makes it more economical and also which makes it more you can say more workable area is provided for us uh when the structures can be done in a single span okay so that's uh, some of the one of the most important features in the pre stressing concrete when we use the high strength concrete all right now next is the this is also again used in the post tensioning industry so just like the pre stress only the post tensioning industry can also uh, what can uh, can also provide the what number of tendons so here also the number of tendons is uh, is the key factor so number of tendons is less and also the size of tendons can be low also i mean number of strands can be reduced okay so that's something can be done in the pre precast post tensioning industry so not only post tensioning the precast industry too have, depends upon this so that 
so while we do using a, one of the better advantages is that it can be easily installed by using the precast industry and also element can be easily designed precisely designed in the factory okay so since as we uh, discussed before the elemental size can be reduced and also the elemental uh, uh, can we say dimensions can be reduced so one of the another major important factor i mean important advantage while using this if you are using in the precast industry is that the dead load will be lowered okay so hence the lower the dead load it can be easier for the installation but still it has the same strength load bearing capacity okay as the or normal concrete which has a larger dimensions okay so this will make the installation easy and as well as it make more economical because low uh, amount of materials are used in the case of uh, casting all right and that's one of the most important features or advantages while we use this kind of concrete in the precast industry next one is the flexural member exhibits greater rotational ductility okay which means then even the flex even though this uh, concrete is more brittle in nature but if you use the flexural members uh, it it perform a lower a greater rotational uh, uh, ductility which means that its uh, central axis will be lower than this from from the centroid okay so hence uh, it provides more ductility to the concrete all right now as i said before it's economical in terms of construction and design of elements as we know that low amount of materials are required a uh, low dimensions of materials are di low dimension materials are required or can be used <coughs> and also uh, the elements can be elements are in low and in proper dimensions that means in uniform dimension and uh, dimension means dimension whatever you say and the material the material dimensions are in uniform and also we can reduce the size of materials so which means material i mean element pardon me uniform size and uh, uniform size for elements okay so uh, in such cases it will first of all it reduce dead load so that uh, uh, so entire structure dead load will be reduced which which is make it easy for designing as well so it is more economical because only a single set of a single type of formwork is required for uh, almost erection of such cases okay so, and also low, low amount of materials are required in terms of design and uh, construction okay not in the case of manufacturing of the mix but in the pr process of manufacturing of the element okay so i hope you understand uh, today's lesson so thank you for listening again please uh, comment your suggestions please read my presentation please uh, recommend and share the slides this is my profile to the n academy platform you can uh, follow us in the app and the website also copy this in your browser you can see the courses i put forward based on the course aggregate fine aggregate cement uh, test for fresh concrete uh, and all the courses that i put in the my profile in the platform okay so thank you once again for listening thank you uh, once again for being a good audience i wish you a great day until next time cheer